I probably weigh more than you. Quite possibly, yeah. I've been uh, I've been dropping weight a bit. But and how um, like how are you hitting such hellacious seeds? I think what it is is I'm um, sequencing. You know, I, I swung I've swung as hard as I can my entire life, and so I, then I did start training. So I don't have a, I don't carry a lot of muscle, but I have like I think a lot of athletic tissue in my in my body. Yeah, elastic, kind of like yeah. Sadlowski. I know is yeah. in the same way. Exactly. I'm I'm kind of built a lot more like him, just a little, little bit taller. So that allows me to kind of get a little more speed out of my my swing. Kind of like you, like you really you put on some solid like muscle tissue, and that allows you to be really fast as well. And that's kind of relative. Well, you and the thing is, you picked up speed, which is you know which is awesome. And then it just goes to show, as long as you keep training your body and keep kind of pushing there's no reason to lose speed you know so where i picked up speed was when i did a biomechanics study of my swing my legs were inactive right so i had yeah. i had great hand power great arm speed but my legs were nothing so when i try to hit it harder i try to push with this front leg where i usually yeah. kind of sag mm -hmm. i try to really jump and push i notice that you are doing that too but where when you're trying to step it up and max out for speed what area are you trying to focus on? So when I'm really trying to go in competition, what I do is one of the first things, and I've actually changed my technique a little bit. I used to rock my feet, okay. but I'm a little stronger now, so I don't really need that momentum anymore. So what I do, I actually push down and up. So you see my knee kind of yeah. lock up here, and it'll go like that, and it'll kind of sometimes lift the lead heel off. And then from there, the biggest difference is that the shoulder is going to be turning literally almost perpendicular. Okay, so you're more worried about backswing to get a more turn and yeah, and, and length. Exactly, because like in the round of 16, I was probably the only guy who was under 230 pounds, and I weighed 197 pounds when I won Worlds. So for me, if I'm not getting that flexibility, I have no other way to generate speed because I'm I don't have the strength or weight that other guys have. So, but if my angles are really good. If I'm really able to maximize all the, you know, the, the levers, yeah. it's going to generate a lot of speed. And the great thing about that is it, it's, it's longevity too. You're not relying on weight and pressure in your joints. You're relying on elasticity and, and uh, flexibility, which is what allows speed to last for a long time. And that's probably why your speed, your speed is so good. You know, and it's probably why it's going to last a long time. It's too. nice you say that, but I feel like there's condescension in there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, Maybe once in a while, no. So, so there's one other thing too is that when yeah. I push on my front leg, I actually want it off the ground mm -hmm. and letting it turn because yeah. I don't want to keep it on the ground and have rotation in the knee because then I end up getting injured. Exactly. Right. So I want it to almost come up so it takes the pressure off. Absolutely. And that's that's um bang on because one of the biggest things and I did this a little as a junior and I'm glad I got out of it was that I always didn't like how my foot did this. It was like well it doesn't look cool it doesn't look cool. It doesn't look like my feet are still square but what I realized it doesn't matter what your feet do after you hit the ball. So by letting that foot turn out, you're completely releasing all that pressure. And right. that's why everyone thinks my knees should be destroyed by the time I'm 25. But if you look at impact for me, and also for you as well, our feet at impact are actually off the ground. Right. So the force is being absorbed through the body and through the ground instead of through our joints. Right. You know, and that's kind of what allows us to continue to swing the way we do without getting injured. You know who does that too really well is Bubba. Bubba oh, yeah. Watson. I mean, he, oh, yeah. he's the longest one we have. It's not in comparison, but he's long as one we have and he relieves all that pressure and impact you can see his foot absolutely you know slide away so it's not rotating the knee yeah you all the longest players on the tour i found you will rarely see anyone over 120 miles an hour i don't know if you see anyone at all that doesn't have some movement in their feet at, at impact because i think if you didn't your knee would just be destroyed totally because agree. of the pressure we put into the ground i think you you're know right. so i think um i think but yeah i think uh now i just got to learn how to hit it straight <laughs> it should be good it's, you, you have to hit it straight if you win. Well, oh, yeah. it's like you did, so obviously you're doing it. Yeah, on my eighth ball. <laughs> yeah. Kyle, thanks for joining yeah, us. It was so good to meet you, Mr. Mickelson. Nice to meet you. Awesome to meet you. Dude, Phil, can really? I call you Phil? Yeah, please. <laughs> please, dude. Can I, I get... Mean, I know I'm old, but man, don't even know. Can I get a quick picture with you guys in the belt? I think you oh, should wow, wear it. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. Want me to put it on you? No. <laughs> 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 it looks heavy. Right. It is. It was it was tough to hold over my shoulder for like 15 minutes. Wow. Kyle Phil right at Cliff here in the black. <laughs>